When did I first meet Nacho? I think in the water at, at uh, Rockaputa maybe. And instantaneously, as soon as I saw him take off on a wave and do his first bottom turn, I was like, wow, that guy's really a top, top surfer. Me acuerdo que el mar estaba gigante y Nachete solamente quería coger las más grandes del día. Olas de 5, 6 metros y viento suave del sur. Condiciones ideales para la disputa hoy del campeonato de olas grandes al que han acudido cientos de seguidores. Nacho González ha sido el ganador. La Galea para mí es un evento muy especial porque 17 años cuando gané el campeonato de la Galea me dieron la invitación a ir a Chile y al final conocí a Ramón Navarro. Es una realidad en mi vida esta experiencia. And it was like my dad from the beginning. You know, he he took me to his house and showed me all the waves around Chile. Me acuerdo que me metí en un tubo gigante en Punta Lobos que me cambió el chip y dije, esto es lo que quiero, esta sensación es la, la sensación más heavy que he sentido en toda mi vida y la quiero repetir. Well, the first time I, I heard about Nacho was obviously when he won the big wave uh, contest here. And I didn't surf in that contest, so obviously he came on the radar. He was a young guy, I think he was 16 or 17 when he won that, which, you know, immediately you think, wow, there's a good young surfer. And also it got my interest going in the area. Wow, they've got a big wave contest, so they've got to have big waves around. And I'd never been to Europe before. I think the first time I came to the Basque Country was uh, 2012 or 13. I came for the competition. And I had a connection immediately with uh, David Bustamente and Ritza. It's just an amazing part of the world, the food, the people, everything, the, you know, the countryside. I seem to have a connection with them, to the culture. Um, I don't know what is, they, you know, they're pretty hardcore people. The Kogu Seoser, desberdina dena, esta. Oso biotxeko agarela, eta azkenean zetitzen dugula gauzak, ba, oso biotxetik, eta azkenean, guretzak oso garrantzitsua da. Una de las partes más bonitas del surf en Euskal Herria es la forma en que vivimos todo en conjunto. ¿no? Disfrutamos de las olas que cogemos, por supuesto, y de las olas que cogen los demás. Entonces, siempre cuando hemos ido a surfear, hemos ido en grupos, en taldes. Sí, yeah, we just connected and we surfed and we had this amazing time around here and I met all the locals up and down the coast and ever since then I've been coming back every year. And uh, Rockaputas, when I, when I surfed it a few years ago, it really got on my radar and I've been waiting for it to work again. And, uh, Um, when we saw the swell, obviously all the radars were on, but like I said, I've come a few times, we've been skunked, so you never know, and uh, this time was an absolute dream, you know, it was 10, 12 foot, maybe a few bigger sets, but just, just these amazing barrels and uh, a beautiful day.
I first meet Nacho? I think in the water at, at uh, Rakaputa maybe. Um, I met him and instantaneously, as soon as I saw him take off on a wave and do his first bottom turn, I was like, wow, that guy's really a top, top surfer, you know? And uh, Nacho to me is one of those guys that, you know, if, if the WQS was in good surf, he would be on the WCT. And if he was on the WCT, he would dominate at places like Fiji and Chopu and G-Lens there now and Pipeline, you know? So, and um, yeah, he's, uh, he's the real deal. La trayectoria de Nacho en, en las olas grandes siempre ha sido de los demás. Desde ser el mejor en Meñacoz o intentar serlo metiéndose el que más dentro a buscar el tubo o todas esas cosas, o irte a Mulagmore y hacerse los tubos que se hacen en Mulagmore. O sea, es algo que ha ido progresivamente, pero que se ha visto desde un primer momento que el tío tenía ganas, tenía el, el don y tenía el callo de, de hacer ese surfing que hace. Y yo creo que fue hace cinco o seis años cuando compramos la primera moto, cuando empezamos a entrar con mar grande, grande de verdad, nos dimos cuenta que era necesario el recurso de las motos y es cuando ya le dimos la importancia de verdad al tema de que comprar motos, de estar entrenados y saber cómo actuar en caso de, de emergencia. I think towing has shown us that you can get into waves that were unthinkable before. So there is somehow showing faster that we can get there because uh, waves that before were only tow waves and now have been paddled. And that's because we've seen people riding those waves. El slap is una ola que la llevan surfeando durante muchos años los bodyboarders de aquí. Y, y siempre ha sido nuestro sueño, ¿no? Yo, y una de Arriolas siempre, bueno, ha sido un surfista que siempre ha estado ahí en, en los baños más duros. Y me parece un tío que está muy loco y que es increíble tenerla al lado cuando está grande. remember to throw him and it was just all the steps and he couldn't pass to the bottom. He got a massive wipeout. It was a pretty scary moment, you know.
pretty dangerous wave, pretty shallow, and it's not easy, you know. Um, I think we, we can get even bigger waves there. But I think friends are the most important thing in life to be happy. Where Nacho is going to go in the future, who knows, because he has taken it to a whole new level. And that's what I like about surfers, that because you don't know where they're going to take it to. And to me, that is the most incredible thing. I love Nacho. I love what he does and the big wave he gets, but if he wouldn't get those waves, you know, for me, he's still Nacho, you know? so that's what I love of him. So I'm going to say that.